That's up. This is the movie review here on Screen Fiend for Aquaman. That's right, Aquaman. And that's right, Arthur Curry is back, the Aquaman. See, I wish this Aquaman came out before they did the Justice League. They would have done a lot more justice to the character, I think. I think people would have appreciated it more because in the movie, Aquaman and Flash and the Justice League really held the movie together. But what I liked about Aquaman, it's, uh, it has its similarities with the uh, fact that you got... <laughs> You got a guy who's running from his responsibilities, don't really want to accept full responsibility, just kind of wants to do his own thing. And it's his destiny to do certain things and, you know, and be in that umbrella. Now, the movie's not, like, outstanding. Like, the script and the writing, you know, is it's not really there. for But for a, but a huge CGI budget, for this movie, which is over a hundred and sixty million dollars, over a hundred and sixty million dollar budget for Aquaman, how did they pull that off? Somebody sold them on this, and they went hook, line, and sinker, and it was good that they did. It was very well that they did. Because it paid off. Aquaman is not a movie that you're going in there for the script. You want to see the action scenes and the shots. And with the type of director you have with James Wan, he was able to bring out the most epic performance in the world. As the brother, the ocean master, who was ruling... He wanted to bridge the seven seas. In the comics, Aquaman has always tried to bridge together the seven seas. That's always was his thing. Uh, here, he was just was running from his responsibility to it was nothing else he could do but to do what he did. And, you know, I'm not going to tell too much, so don't worry. This is spoiler free. <laughs> um... Nicole Kidman plays uh, Lanthea, his mother, who was exile princess from, from Atlantis. And Black Manta. Now, he was the character I wanted to see more of. That's the only thing in this movie that I felt it failed at. Black Manta should have had a huge part and more scenes in the film he brought the land aspect everything he did was great every scene he was in he stole i wanted to see more of black matter there are some other things we're going to talk about when we do the spoiler review that you guys are going to want to hear that has something to do with race a little bit, but yeah, it ain't really nothing too much, but we'll get into that a little later. Now, what carries this movie also is the soundtrack. From Pitbull to everybody on there, I'm like, man, this soundtrack's incredible. And James Wan casting Patrick Wilson, you know, he's directed him in all the Insidious movies. So, you know. Gotta have Patrick Wilson. <laughs> so he brings Patrick Wilson in to play the Ocean Master in this uh, sci-fi movie and introduces him to the sci-fi world of this um, superhero universe. And I know Patrick Wilson's very happy because this really boosts his career. So... Anyhow, uh, the action scene at the end, 
I love the fight scene. I, I think it was cool. But it falls into the DC Marvel thing of the uh, opposite, polar opposites fighting each other. You know, it's it's never when you saw Black Manta, it was it gave a you know a sigh of relief because you're seeing two different opposite things fight each other. You know, you kind of get tired of seeing polar opposites of each other fighting each other, but that you know that's been a growing rendition and. Ah, uh, I guess they say, look, it worked for Star Wars. <laughs> Don't mess up my vibe. <laughs> Nobody can play. What's a Jedi and Sith difference, huh? One has a different color blade. <laughs> Don't blow my moment. So I do give Aquaman three stars out of four. Uh, very much, uh, you know, the movie Jason Moama did a great job playing Aquaman. A lot of people complained earlier that he shouldn't have been Aquaman because he is Samoan. And I'm like, who knows more about the water? <laughs> well, they should have. Aquaman had blonde hair and his hair was slicked back. We need Patrick Wilson should have been Aquaman. Yeah, you're amazed with what you get in the, in the text messages. I'm like, at the end of that, you should have put, hey, hell, Hitler. <laughs> Just say it. You don't want a person with color to be Aquaman. <laughs> and Amber Heard as Mira, she did a good job, I thought. And normally she doesn't do a good job. <laughs> or the role is just terrible. Now, I, I, I take that back. Amber Heard has done some really good things uh, as far as movies. Her choice of film has been uniquely different. But on some smaller films, she was really good. So the movie, I think, Syrup, was probably her best performance. I've seen her give. Now, besides that, you know, that's everything else is up for debate. But anyway, thanks for tuning in to Screen Fame. We're going to have more movie reviews coming soon. Don't blink.